Hello there and welcome to another computer science video. In this short series of videos, I'm going to throw at you a few exam questions to help you with your Boolean algebra simplification. Let's have a look at this question here. C or not B and C. Now don't worry, between B and C, if you see something like this in an exam question, this is just a common way of writing B and C. You can't see the and, but it is there. So the first thing I'm going to do when I approach this, if we're looking at second year computer science, we're expected to know what De Morgan's law is. We need to break the bar and change the sign of the knotted B and C. So to do that, I'm going to write it below. It's C or bracket not B or not C, close bracket. So I've broken the bar here, the main bar at the top of B and C, and I've changed the sign from an and sign to an or sign. So where do we go from here? Well, I'm looking at using the commutative law in order to swap not B and C inside and outside the brackets. And you'll see why I do this in just a moment. Now I've written it, hopefully you can see why I chose to take that step. By now we should be getting more comfortable with Boolean algebra and looking at C or with not C and you should be able to look at the table or from the top of your head work out what that will be. And I know that C or not C will always return 1. And how do I actually know that? Well, C can have two options. It can either be a 1 or a 0. And if I invert that, then not C will be 0 or not C can be 1. And they're the options that are available to me. If I actually all those together, the result of that will always come out as 1. And that leaves me with 1 or not B. And if I take not B and I take 1, the constant of 1, and then I or those two together, not B can be 0, or not B can be 1. And if I or those with 1, because I have that constant of 1 with the or rule, that means that I will always have 1. So the answer to C or not B and C is just 1, or true.